Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today we're going to talk about the Android 15 side of things when it comes down to Samsung One UI 7.0 beta. Now, as you know, this channel has covered pretty much everything that Samsung One UI 7 is able to do, but we didn't really fully talk about Android 15. Now, one of those really nice things that comes with Android 15 is the ability to archive applications. Now, archiving an application basically is a way that you're able to free up space on your phone. So it gets rid of the bulk of the data without having to get rid of the application entirely. So how you're able to archive an application is when you take a look at any of the applications, you can press and hold on the icon, and then you go to information. So this is where you have the option to archive. So what'll happen is that it pretty much got rid of the bulk of the details of any said application that you have archived. So I'm gonna do that also with Twitter. So pretty much what will happen here is that a lot of the, the saved data is now off of the device. It's almost as if you have deleted the application entirely off of your phone, but you still get to keep the application icon, which shows you that you can just re-download it. So you keep the icon, and you keep your login information. So this is just a nice way to free up space on your phone or just take a break from applications. You know, it's still gonna sit there and you can actually just move them out of this folder if you want to. You can put them into something else inside of your application tray, but pretty much it's a way to save space. You still have it just sitting right there. And if you ever wanna go right back inside, you tap it and then you restore it. So the icon will stay there. All the data is basically gone except for the icon and login info, which is super helpful because sometimes if you just go through and you delete an application, that means that you have to go through, reinstall it, and then put in all of your credentials. So that's pretty much it. So now you're just able to go right back inside of the application once it you know, basically loads everything right back in. So it's just one of those really nice key features of Android 15, again, save storage space give you a little bit of you know relief from that application if you want to take a little bit of a break without having to get rid of the icon as well as your login info now there's also a lot of other things that are brand new with android 15 especially on the google pixel side of things it just happens to be that a lot of the stuff that android 15 added in samsung has already had with samsung one ui there is actually a few things that samsung did add in even though it's something that's brand new in android 15 but not new for samsung and one of those is inside of battery for your battery protection if you wanted to have it as maximum so beforehand samsung had it at 80 now you just have all these options here that you can change it if you want it to go to 80, 85%, 90 or 95%. So for Android 15, that's something that's actually just brand new that they were able to add in. Also, there is some newer animations when it comes down to charging. That's also new when it comes down to Android 15. So in Samsung, if your phone is unlocked, you actually see that little icon on the very top right hand side. And then if you were to do it when your screen is basically in the lock screen or even off right here, you'll be able to see this newer icon here. So Samsung did also do a few things when it comes down to Android 15 as well. It just happens to be baked in with Samsung One UI 7.0. Another thing that was added in with Android 15 on the Google side of things, especially on the pixels, was the private folder. And that was where you're able to store some things uh, privately. Basically, Samsung already has had that. It's called a secure folder. So Samsung won't have private folder because we already have secure folder. Now, some of the other cool things that you're able to do, especially on the Google side of things, is when it comes down to theft and protecting your device, finding your device. So if you go inside of your Google settings, you can go to all services. And then down over here, what you'll be able to find is uh, theft protection. So this is something that's new for Android 15, this theft detect lock. Basically the screen will lock if this setting detects that someone took your device and ran away. So basically if you are holding the phone, it's unlocked, you're, you're, you're actually actively using the device. If it thinks that someone grabbed it and started running away with all of the sensors inside the device, it'll actually lock the phone. You also have offline device locks. So you can actually turn this on as well. Your device's screen will lock shortly after your device goes offline to help protect your data. For example, your device will lock if someone steals it and turns off the internet to prevent location tracking. So pretty much here, I'm just gonna turn this one on as well. You also have remote lock. You have find and uh, erase your data. So remote lock, 
you know, if you lock your phone, which I'm not gonna keep it in that screen because it shows my phone number on the bottom if it was to fully load. But basically, if your device is lost or stolen, you can lock its screen with just a phone number. So if you remember, Samsung has that as well too. Uh, when it comes down to find my device with all the Samsung stuff, you just log into uh, the Samsung website with your Samsung account, and then you're able to do a lot of stuff. So pretty much I just wanted to go over a few things that we were able to have that is new on our Samsung phones coming from the Google side of it, even though a lot of the Android 15 stuff on Google, Samsung has already had their version. So I wanted to show off the theft detection lock. I also wanted to show off you know, the added features of your maximum charging of the battery because now there's more uh, options. But the biggest thing for me, other than the theft detect lock, would be archiving applications. Because sometimes you just want to take a break from an application, but you don't really fully want to get rid of every single thing just because that means you have to re-download the application and you also have to put in all of your login credentials. So these would probably be the apps that I would kind of archive the most just to kind of take a break from. And if you ever want to get back in, uh, you just basically tap it and it will be restored. So hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. Hopefully it has maybe helped out a little bit on the Android side of things and not just only on the Samsung side of things. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.